Hello and welcome to Beyond Games, the YouTube gaming channel all about what's next. I'm John Jordan. So in this video, we are looking at uh, an EA gate. We've had a few EA gates in our time, I guess, uh, but the EA gate uh, at the moment is, is actually pretty interesting uh, and I think plays into what's going on with in-game economies. So the allegation is that a uh, EA employee has been selling off surreptitiously um, very high-end rare cards in FIFA 21. So um, I guess as, as uh, most people know that a lot of these games now, particularly actually FIFA 21, is the, the kind of get game... Uh, the economic mechanic is about loot boxes. Loot boxes are basically random drops. So uh, if you if you buy a loot box, um, you will see what the percentage uh, likelihood is of getting certain uh, kind of rarity levels of card. Obviously, the most rare cards are super super rare, uh, which obviously means that if you really want to get them, you have to you know you know spend a lot of money. And there's a sort of random element which lots of people don't like, which is why governments are looking at legislation around this sort of area. Um, but uh, this th this uh, Kind of allegation is, is is in a sense kind of um, more serious because it is a kind of uh, it under it undermines trust in the entire game system. And if people don't believe that the game system is uh, is trustworthy, then obviously they're not going to spend money in it. Particularly these very high end cards. So so the allegation is um, and and there are these uh, um, kind of uh, screenshot direct messages um, from uh, WhatsApp, which seem to suggest an EA employee. Has has been kind of touting some of these cards um, called icon cards uh, for uh, you know large sums of money, so so up to a thousand euros, or these prime icon moments um, for one thousand seven hundred euros. So so what actually are they? So so these are kind of a very high end um, kind of historic footballers. So we have people like uh, Ronaldo, Pele, Rodinho, Zinedine Zidane, Rude Hullet. Um, and it is kind of interesting. This is Eurogamer, um, and, and they, they, they like to get the line in. These are near impossible to obtain through the game's controversial loot boxes. Um, that's one way of putting it. I mean, basically, they have a very low, uh, they're very rare, so they have a very uh, low percentage of people getting them. Um, so, so that's kind of, <laughs> um, they're not near impossible. This is a very low percentage. It's, it's actually um, one of the good things about, I suppose, what's people looking at loot boxes is now game companies have to tell you what the percentage drop is. So it's not like, not like you kind of spend your money and think, oh, oh well, you know, we've got a chance of getting one. You actually know the chance is 0 0.01 or, or whatever the chance is. So, um, so, so there we go. Um, th now, now this is, uh, in, in a, you know, in a sense, probably a one-off. Um, this is this is someone who has access to the kind of back end database um, in probably customer support. Customer support often has to deal with these sort of issues uh, when things don't go correctly and, and, and manipulate in game um, items, maybe um, you know, banning accounts or, or, or maybe maybe kind of gifting cards to people for, for various reasons. That's just part and parcel of, of kind of online games these days. And there's plenty of examples of um, people in customer support doing things like this. So I guess the, the focus is because it is uh, uh, FIFA 21, which is one of the biggest, uh, most high-profile games. EA is always a company people love to hate, um, and there's a lot of interest in loot boxes. This all kind of plays into this being, you know, seeming like a fairly big story. I don't think in this particular instance it is a fairly big story. I imagine it seems to be a one-off. Um, I, I guess uh, looking, looking, uh, kind of, uh, kind of what's next uh, at Beyond Beyond Games, we would say the thing that would that would um, stop this sort of thing is is using blockchain technology. So using in a blockchain technology, um, all the cards would be would be um, secured on the blockchain. And, and effectively, you would set up systems that means it's impossible for, for people to just kind of give them away through company accounts. Um, and, and it would be very obvious if that was the case, uh, because you would, you would kind of see what's going on there. It would be all be, all be kind of public and transparent. At least, at least that, that is kind of one way of, of how you would set up those systems. So, so I think this is, this is um, uh, you know, not good for EA, uh, as we would say, you know, not, not good optics. Um, uh, but but uh, and obviously a criminal kind of matter. So so this person could could potentially be sent to prison for for st effectively stealing um, from their company. Um, but we shouldn't potentially overplay this. I don't think one. It doesn't happen very often. It does happen, but not too often. And I think there is technology coming in that would sort of make this stuff um, not impossible. Um, uh, but in, in the words of Eurogamer, nearly impossible. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. This is uh, Beyond Games looking at what's happening next for games and how games are affecting the uh, wider um, kind of uh, society. If you like that sort of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.